I'm Peter Cleland from Bar Crusher Boats. Today we're going to have a look at what makes for a great aluminium boat to ensure you get the best boat for your purpose. So let's firstly look at the two major types of aluminium boat construction in Australia. The two main ones are what they call the press sheet tinny design, often seen with those clinker sides and uh, uh, the extrusions welded inside the boat. And then you have your plate aluminium boat style of construction, which generally involves much higher tensile material, uh, it's generally flatter, and it generally has a strong welded in subfloor frame, uh, engineered for strength and durability. So if we look at the two types of construction, generally the press sheet tinnies are generally built in smaller boats, smaller sizes, you know, your 12 foot tinny with your little tiller outboard, that might be used as a good starting point to use on rivers, estuaries, lakes, and perhaps, you know, calm weather boating. Um, they make them in larger sizes, which can be good for some coastal use. Um, however, if you're going to step up and use your boat in rougher conditions, go further afield and be more adventurous, generally you'd step into a good plate boat, something like a bar crusher. And uh, then we get into a discussion of the different designs and what that will do in terms of stability and cut through chop and general on water performance. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Now in discussing boat design, there are wider boats with a lesser V or a flatter bottom underneath. And then there are narrower boats with a deeper V. And then there are boats that use a design which is a combination of the two. Uh, in, in principle, a, a beamy or wide boat with a wide planing area and a shallower V might be quite stable at rest, but it might tend to hit a bit harder when you're running through wind chop, i.e. when the wind comes up, waves come up, and the boats tend to pound more. Uh, if you go for a deeper V, you'll cut better through wind chop. Uh, so ideally a combination of the two can work quite well. How Bar Crusher deals with this, we've evolved a design that has a nice deep V to cut through chop, but to overcome the, the tenderness you might get with a deep V in terms of pitching and rolling at rest, we use a water ballast system with a channel up the middle of the boat, open at the rear under the pod where when you stop the water floods in, it drops the boat down, brings the chines or the corners of the boat down into the water and gives you good stability. This gives us a good cut through chop with a deep V and this provides good stability at rest. Once you've decided which style of construction you require for whatever purpose you're going to put the boat to, the next thing to think about is the configuration in terms of whether you want a runabout boat, an open boat, a centre console, perhaps a hard top boat like this one here, and it will really come down to the sort of level of comfort and safety you want when you go out boating. If you're looking at a boat for a specific purpose, in our case, we cater to the fishermen, you need to have a look at the layout of the boat and where the various features are and make sure they're in the best location. You can see here there's a burly bucket muncher in the, in the swim platform at the back of this boat, live bait tank built in the transom, good sized bait board with rod storage. These are the things you want to look at to make sure that the boat's fit for purpose. Uh, this cockpit is an example of a, of a great fishing cockpit. It's open and uncluttered. We have the combing at the appropriate height. When you stand against it, it hits you in the thigh just at the right point. Um, it's got storage in the side pocket shelves, it's got rod holder storage, and in the transom we have the live bait tank, a good sized bait board with storage for your brushes and knives and pliers. We also have dual batteries, you wouldn't go offshore without dual batteries, then if one fails you've got a spare as backup to start your motor. When talking construction you can see the key difference with a plate boat here, fully welded in tread plate floor, and underneath you've got this strong bow to stern system of stringers or framing with cross frames making an incredibly strong engineered sort of section under the floor to give the boat its strength and durability. Really important for those offshore fishermen that are going to really give their boats a workout. So I hope that's helped you in the process of researching your next boat and remember life's better with a boat. <laughs>